I was born in Chiapas, Mexico, and uh, when I was 13, uh, my mother, my two siblings, and I, we came to the U.S. And we ended up in Northern California. I was always very masculine since I was very little. Um, and it was something that I didn't like necessarily think of masculine or feminine. It was just the way I was. Using the bathroom is a very difficult experience for me. Um, and not, not so much because of how, how I feel, but how others feel when I enter that space. So I, I went inside the bathroom to pee and the lady is like mopping the floor and as she sees me walk in, she like drops her mop and she runs out of the bathroom. And I know that she went to look for the security to say that there was a man in the bathroom. So it's, it's one of those sort of like negotiations all the time of um, trying to be natural and how I express myself, but at the same time being conscious that for other people it is, it is not natural and that they might be afraid. I grew up around a lot of like queer people all my life. It was part of our family. So I felt really welcome. In Northern California, queerness is trendy, yet normative gay districts do not cater to my needs as a young woman, low-income undocumented laborer, and political student activist. I applied to Dream Summer because the immigrant rights movement provided me with the political tools and a welcoming community where I felt safe to explore my sexual identity. Finally, I had the space where I could say, of course, I am Latina, I am an immigrant, and I am queer. And everybody understands exactly what that means. I am currently a fellow at the National Center for Lesbian Rights in San Francisco, where I provide legal assistance to the LGBT community so they better protect themselves from discrimination. I am collaborating with other Queer Dream Summer participants and their host organization. So for me to find the Dream Summer Queer cohort meant that I could like embrace the LGBT movement with all of those elements that I didn't find there at the mainstream movement. I wear men's clothing because cross-dressing is my everyday act of resistance as a queer immigrant mujer.